What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Welcome back. Welcome back. Hopefully, everyone had an amazing Tuesday. I know for me, my day's winding down. It's about 6 o'clock here in the East Coast down here in beautiful Southwest Florida. It's about 92 degrees out right now. Just the other day, we we're in the 60s and now it's freezing. Now I'm complaining that it's too hot, folks. That's what you get for living in Southwest Florida. But listen, in this video, we're going to talk about something very interesting. We're going to talk about XRP bailouts and if they have already been distributed via OTC, via over-the-counter. This is very interesting. I'm going to show you a clip. We're going to go through bailouts, what a bailout is, how a bailout use, who the IMF has recently bailed out, and it all ties back to you-know-who. Ripple, XRP, their connections, who they've been with. It's a very interesting topic, folks. Current market conditions, what's going on out there? You probably like what you're seeing, to be all honest with you. We're seeing a lot of green right now. Ethereum's almost at 1500 Bitcoin's back above 20k. XRP's for at 45 cents. But is is this the sign of the next push-up? Or is this just a little fake out? Let's go over. We're gonna talk about Lux Lions Oasis and the number one metaverse coming to all metaverses, folks. The deals, the partnerships, it is just unbelievable. We're gonna talk about XLS20 because it is right around the corner. And then how about Flare and what you need to know as the deadline is quickly approaching for those airdrops or is it time will tell now we're gonna head over to live coin watch before we get this video going what are we seeing bitcoin twenty thousand one hundred and seventy five dollars it's currently up 4.13 percent in the past 24 hours ethereum it's almost up 10 percent up to one thousand four hundred and seventy eight dollars we are seeing usdt and usdc under their dollar pegs when XRP is coming in on a mean lean 45 cents, it is actually down 0.04% in the past 24 hours. It is trying to break through green on the hourly candle. Total cryptocurrency market cap, 996 billion. We are up about 40 or so billion dollars here. That's a good sign. Still haven't broken above a trillion, and the Bitcoin dominance is at 38.8%. Folks, where do we go from here? Is this the breakout that everyone is looking for? I do not think so. I told you we've been stuck in one massive range for quite some time. We need to get through 23K for Bitcoin to even have hopes about this. Not to give up, not to kill your excitement, but we're going to keep it real here. Bitcoin needs to get above 23K so we can see the next push. 29,000 is the level after that that we are looking at. So what is going on right now? Yes, new money has entered the space. Yes, Bitcoin and Ethereum are up and running along with BNB. But what does this really mean? Time will obviously tell. I'm going to bring you over to my man JD's chart and he's telling you right here. BTC has been rejecting the blue tread line since the beginning of the bear market. If we close above it, this would be big. All stars, all coins would start to go up very, very quickly. Be ready for both ways. Here you go. Here's the chart. You can see the blue uh, the blue RSI uh, trend line in the bottom section of the screen near the purple. We need to get a close on the RSI above there, folks. Does it happen? Does it hold today? Time is obviously going to tell, but he is uh, he's about 24K-ish we're looking at to get this breakout confirmed. Let's see. Now... Lux Lions NFT, if you don't follow the page, give the page a follow. It's my NFT project, folks, and Sapa National Art Day. Art is in the eye of the beholder, and that and these are what I call true Lux beauty. Now, look, we minted Solo 100. This is very important. Everyone that holds one of those Solo 100s, you are going to have to get to the Discord. You will have to trade one of those, or all of them, whatever you own. You need to trade those Solo 100s back in to me, and then I'm going to have to remint on the XRP ledger. Got to get done. There's no other way around it. That's why Sologenic was a wild card from the beginning. We didn't know the process of how they were going to convert. I feel bad for people out there that have like 10,000, 15,000 because they have to remint everything. They have to keep track of everything coming in. But check out the Discord. If you need to give this in, give it back to us. We send it back out. Bada beam, bada boom. Now, if you don't know, and we have about, I believe it's on the 500 plots left at this point that we are able to sell on our metaverse. It's called Lux Lines Oasis. We were featured in Yahoo Finance. We were featured in New York Business Times. Here is some gameplay from At The Math on one of their test islands. The best graphics around. This is a metaverse of all metaverses. There are jobs There are jobs out on this metaverse. There are working opportunities, unlike all these other metaverses out there that you are seeing where they promise you that you can open a storefront. That is not what a metaverse is. A metaverse is bringing augmented reality into real life people will actually hold jobs on the island we have people talking about and lining up different occupations that they are going to do 
there is a big difference when you look at what I am doing with the metaverse and to these other projects. They are just promising you can have a storefront. A storefront doesn't do anyone good unless you can drive traffic to it. We are going way beyond that. A perfect example and the simplest example for people to realize that I like to talk about. You need to get around the island. You don't have a car. We will have a profession on the island where you will be an Uber driver. You will be bringing people around. It's called the captain's profession. You will be able to transport people around the island. This is one example of one of the simplest professions out there. Check out this game played out absolutely phenomenal the graphics is stunning this is all pixel streaming so you don't need high-end equipment for any of this folks you just need a device that you can connect to the internet another massive perk that stands out the metaverse project i am with and the names that are signed to the project like vegas.com and paul mccartney's sister ruth mccartney are part of this now we get all this Everything you need to know about Flare from Status. Check out, check your 15 distribution. You can go to bit.ly slash Flare. Check, put your wallet in, figure it all out. You can also check your, your total Flare claim from Tower Labs. A lot of neat and interesting links that you can keep up on for Flare. And then new, put this out. Money 2020 is going on in Vegas right now. And they say sharing of global payment solution success stories and Noom swag. Stop by booth number 2341 to schedule me and to discover how your payments and card insurance can help the competitors. Here you go. This is on in Vegas. This is a massive, massive, uh, I guess we can call it a show. Noom, real-time cross-border payment platform and businesses. Yes, they use XRP. Yes, they use on-demand liquidity. Here is the case study. It's an old case study too. They were one of the first in the APAC region, folks. Absolutely massive. Now let's talk about these bailouts. And let's talk about if they have already gone down. Listen to this clip real fast. When, not if, the petrodollar system begins to crumble, the dollar will begin its death spiral. Right now, America has a permission slip to print all the dollars that it wants to print. Why? Because the world needs dollars to buy oil. It's that simple. So the Fed just prints away, knowing that the global demand for U.S. dollars and for U.S. debt should remain strong enough to prevent hyperinflation. However, when OPEC and the other major global oil players decide to pull the plug and finally denominate their oil sales in another currency other than the dollar, the artificial demand for the dollar will decrease. The U.S. will be stuck holding a lot of worthless paper dollars that no one needs anymore, which will ultimately lead to massive inflationary pressures on the U.S. economy. Don't think that this won't happen. Foreign governments are acutely aware of America's economic problems. Knowing this, many of them are biding their time by actively looking for alternatives to the U.S. dollar-denominated assets for investment purposes. In the months and years ahead, other global currencies will be strong competitors for these same global investment dollars. When the petrodollar system collapses, it will lead to astronomical interest rates and the end of the U.S. dollar. So with all of that in context, consider this week's report by the New York Times about China and Russia moving away from the dollar. According to the report, the two countries opened direct trading between the Chinese yuan currency and the Russian ruble thus allowing them to completely avoid the U.S. dollar in their bilateral trade. Among their imports and exports that will avoid the use of dollars? Oil. Friends, Russia and China are pioneering a move away from the U.S. dollar. The collapse of the dollar is coming, but it's not here yet. So now to answer my earlier question on when the dollar will collapse. The dollar will completely collapse when the petrodollar system collapses. So talking about a dollar collapse, right? So what this is gonna segue us into ballot. Ballot recipients, this is update, excuse me, update as of August 18th. We've seen bailouts of Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, General Motors, who is still negative here, right? They're still negative 11 trillion. Chrysler's in there, they're negative as well. JP Morgan Cheese, all these companies, SunTrust that you've seen here, have been bailed out, which is very interesting, right? 
and we come over here. What did we just find out September 18th, about but a month ago? Sri Lanka to present debt restructuring. The IMF bailout plans to credit is on Friday. It's very interesting because Sri Lanka has deep ties in with Ripple and in with XRP. And it says the crisis hit will make a presentation to its international credit is on Friday, laying out the full extent of its economic troubles and plans for a debt restructuring and multi-billion dollar international, money fund, international monetary fund bailout. Years of economic manage management combined with COVID-19 pandemic have left Sri Lanka in its worst economic crisis since independence from Britain in 1948, causing it to default on sovereign debt. We're going to start to see a lot of this, and they're going to use COVID as as the the um the the floodgates. I got this all going right. That people weren't able to work, the economy was down, shortage of everything, people had inf overinflate, and we're going to start to see a lot of this coming. And the IMF, as we see here, is stepping in to do bailouts. And we're seeing that here as well, right? Another article that came from PBS talking about the IMF to reach a preliminary deal with Pakistan on a $6 billion bailout. Now, when we look at bailouts, we look at the IMF because the IMF is the one that comes in to save it. We see what Bitcoin's doing, and they were like, the IMF was like, listen, someone needs to use Bitcoin or needs to hold a cryptocurrency, and then that's the only way for the us, the IMF, to hold crypto. That is what Ross Lockout from who used to work for the IMF told us when he's on stage with Brad. But when we look what's going on out there, we see Bitcoin is being used by El Salvador. This would give us the floodgates, the openings for the IMF to step in and to actually hold something. And if they were to hold a cryptocurrency in the basket, they would need a neutral bridge asset, a neutral bridge currency. That is what they would be looking to hold. Something that's fast, cheap, and can really move, and that they can do what they want with it. That is being accepted all around the world. Look at Ripple. Look how many corridors they have. Look at all the central banks. This would be the perfect, perfect time for XRP to step in here. Are we speculating? Of course, but you got to speculate a little bit if you want to try to deep, dig deeper at the truth. And then Tony Bean, I've been showing you a lot of his tweets, says right here, they are ready. Everything has been set up. Major banking and payment software providers all are integrated. XRP ballots have been distributed via OTC. This all comes down to the flip of the switch moment. It's all about timing. There's no rush right now. They need a little pain and panic first. And I think what we're seeing now across the world is the pain. I think if we, see, we keep getting a little more pain, we're going to see the panic kick in. When we see the panic kick in, we're going to see a lot of the sovereign debt being restructured. Very interesting because you keep your eyes on XRP. You know about the connections. You know about the connections with Ripple and who they have been working with and who they have been talking to. And if the IMF has stated before, all it takes is one country to hold cryptocurrency, which we already have, for them to be able to step in and get a crypto on their books. Very interesting times, folks. Stick around. I got plenty more coming for you. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.